Hi, welcome to another episode of Hack a Week. This week we're making a sundial, a horizontal sundial. I got curious about them last week and discovered that there's many different kinds of sundials. They've been around for a long, long time. It's one of the most ancient ways that people have been able to tell time throughout the year. There's all kinds of ways you can build them, but the simplest one is probably this one right here. This is a horizontal sundial, and if you follow along in this video, you'll learn how to make one yourself. They're lots of fun, so give it a try. The parts of a horizontal sundial. First, we have to have a dial. This dial is for 35 degrees north latitude, and the lines in the middle are a bit closer together, between 10 and 2 o'clock, than they are at, say, 5 and 6 o'clock. The further north you go, the more equidistant, or same spacing these lines would be. I'll explain that more in a moment. The part that makes the shadow on the sundial, a horizontal sundial anyway, is called the gnomon. It's just a triangle and it has the same angle here relative to here of 35 degrees which is 35 degrees north latitude. If you were at 48 degrees north latitude you would have a gnomon that was a little bit bigger this way. It would have a higher angle. So that is dependent on the latitude, the angle of the gnomon. And the two go together and form a horizontal sundial. So let's take a look at how that all works. Let's look at the parts of a horizontal sundial. Here we have the dial portion, and here we have the gnomon. The gnomon is that triangle part that sticks up on a sundial. And noon points to north, true north, not the north pole as per a compass, but true north as per lining it up to the star Polaris. That's the best way to line up your sundial. These uh, lines here that represent the time of day are calculated by a mathematical formula dependent upon what latitude you are at on the Earth. The angle of the gnomon is also calculated depending on the latitude you're on on the Earth. So the sun shines across here and creates a shadow. This angled edge not the 90 degree portion, but the angled edge and where its shadow falls is what shows us the time of day. And this particular drawing would be 8 a.m. in the morning. Now let's take a look at why this and these lines have to change depending on where you are on the latitude of the face of the Earth. So, now that you have a basic understanding of the parts of a sundial, let's take a look at how a horizontal sundial works. Here's the Earth, here's the Sun. Not to scale. The Earth has a tilt of about 23 degrees on its axis, and if we were to make a sundial at the equator, the gnomon, represented by these lines, would be parallel to the Earth's axis, because the gnomon angle has to change with latitude it stays parallel to the Earth's axis. As we move north, that angle will change. So it starts out parallel to the Earth. A little bit further north, it's a shallow angle. About halfway to the North Pole, it's roughly 45 degrees. As you can see here, it starts to stand up further and further until at the North Pole, it would be 90 degrees to the Earth. And theoretically, we would have a reading all the way around on our dial for 24 hours. So there's the basics of how it casts the shadow and why we need to change the angle depending on our latitude. Now let's go put the pieces together and make a sundial. Here is the web page that I linked to on Hackaweek uh, that will help you calculate all of those lines on your sundial. It's a horizontal sundial calculator. All you need is your latitude. You can find that on this link right here. It's a geocoder latitude longitude lookup. So you can uh, find your latitude and then enter it right in here. Here in Southern Pines, North Carolina, I'm at 35 degrees north latitude. Let's click calculate. And then here's all the degrees for every quarter of an hour. And I can either do that in a drawing program, I can set up my dial, or I can just draw it by hand with a protractor, as I mentioned. And there's some other really neat uh, info on here. There's also a map for the uh, east and west declination from magnetic north. Um, if you want to find true north, magnetic north doesn't point to true north. Your sundial needs to be lined up with true north. You can do that at nighttime by pointing it at the north star, Polaris. 
or you can use this and a compass and it will help you align your sundial. There's some other really neat information on here, all kinds of uh, cool things like how to find the North Star. Uh, there's the Big Dipper and you line up the last two until you find the North Star. That's another way to do it. This is a great page. Visit it. It will help you out a lot in building your horizontal sundial. Okay, here is another really cool web page. Uh, this is the estimated value of magnetic declination depending on your location. This will help you line up your horizontal sundial properly. The link to this is on the Hack a Week page and uh, that link is in the comment section down below on this video. So what you do here is you put in your zip code first. I'll put the one in here for where I live in Southern Pines. Get location. Now I have my latitude and my longitude, which is really cool. And then I can compute the declination. And there it is, 8 degrees, 27 minutes west. So that will help me line up my sundial without having to use the North Star if I wanted to line it up during the daytime. All right, we're out here on the back porch uh, doing a little work outside because we got the spray adhesive going. It makes it a little easier. Got my hot glue gun here. I've done a layout here for Southern Pines, North Carolina, which is 35 degrees north latitude. Here's the Nomen. It's at 35 degrees because that's the latitude. I did this with a drawing program. Uh, you could do the same thing from the uh, calculator that I showed you on my website. And you can use a conventional protractor and draw it yourself or do the drawing program like I did. So I've got this one spray adhesive mounted to some foam board. And I'll go ahead and cut that out now. Hmm, knife's not too sharp. Could have used a, uh, a newer blade, I suppose. But anyway. This will work. There's the Nomen. Now I'll go ahead and mount my uh, dial onto the foam board here. And we'll just use the corner that we already have here. I don't have to do any uh, extra cutting that way. Nope. So now I have my dial cut, got my gnomon cut, and I'll go ahead and mount the gnomon onto the dial, and I'll do that with some hot glue, and I think I should probably use a uh, triangle to make sure it stays 90 degrees, because of course that'll change things if it's not exactly 90 degrees to the page there. So. Let's get a little hot glue on this. Let's get that lined right up on the 12 o'clock mark, nice and centered up. Very important that we get this as close as we can to the center and at 90 degrees so that we have an accurate timekeeping piece. Okay, we'll let the hot glue dry. Then it'll be time to get it out in the sun pointed in the proper direction. Okay, I've got a compass on the floor here set up just about uh, 8 degrees off from uh, magnetic north, 8 degrees west declination. This is a cheapy compass. You can watch it move when I put the camera near it. It's not uh, not the best compass in the world. But right now, my phone says it's 4.33. And the sundial says 3.30. Of course, daylight savings time throws it off a little bit. Pretty soon, uh, when we set our clocks back, this will be accurate. So there it is. It works. 
and uh, tonight I'm going to check out um, lining it up to Polaris and see how it does throughout the days ahead. Set it up in my front yard and maybe at some point in the future we will revisit this later this winter and see how accurate it is. It'll change a little bit throughout the year but there it is. Primitive way to tell time with some math and uh, they're kind of fun to build so make one, stick it in your yard somewhere and uh, send me a picture of it at Hack a Week. The link to my uh, email is on there or you can just post a video on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this. Have fun building your horizontal sundial and until next time keep on hacking.